When will people understand what a rhetorical question is? Hey, welcome to Shave and Butcher. Uh, did you see the video where of the new home of, from my straight racers? Have a look at that. I'm not going to shave with a straight racer today because I don't want to wake them. They're lying there. <laughs> They're on the on the soft bed linen. There were three things I was going to say today. One is congratulations to fellow YouTuber Gordon Christie for having a baby. Well, his wife did, but he certainly helped. Congratulations, Gordon and Christina. Um, then there was something that Talija One said, but I can't remember. It may come to me. And the third thing is, hmm, I'm going to shave with the Eversharp Hydro Magic injector eraser today. Just Lance, fellow YouTuber, um, who had his son on his most recent shave. His son is nine. And uh, yeah, Michael, that was pretty cool. Anyway, Lance told me this. So you load with an injector thingy into here. And here there's a lever, which, you know, I open that up, that opens up, that loosens the blade. Can you see? So you can clean it. <laughs> and you can clean it and the blade doesn't come out because it's stuck in there. And then you rinse and blah, blah, blah. And you fold it back. Isn't that really cool? So this is from 1955. It's a G, I can't remember, three or four, and um, very cool. The soap today is from Ohio. I got this sample when I purchased the brush, the copper brush. This is from Shannon Soaps. It's called Aussie Ice. It has all the good stuff in it. Uh, na, 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 na. Tallow, cocoa butter, lanolin, glycerin, shea butter, pieces of little children, avocado oil. No, I'm kidding, it doesn't have avocado. Yeah, it does have avocado oil, vitamin E, all the good stuff. <clears throat> it's smeared into this. I've started packing for, for moving. So... I don't have a whole lot of stuff left. Kind of interesting. Uh, maybe that's a video in itself, because let's focus on the shaving. Anyway, so it's it's in here. Wonder if it's enough. I hope so. One of the brushes that I that I still have out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brushes is one from Matti Lindholm. Two out of eight is from Matti. This is the brush I use the most when it's not a video, because when it's a video, I try to alternate and have something fancy. This is worn because I've used it so much. Probably the brush I use the very most. What did Talija one say? I can't remember. I'll try to remember. He is a clever man. Okay. So there's going to be a bit of clinkering, but I'll try and limit the clinkering to destroying the calico liki. What is it called? Where, you know, up here with the, with the nail has a Greek Latin sounding name. Caligula. No, it's something like that. So this is from Kokum in Malmö. If you're Swedish and infinitely old, you will think, oh, come on. they're still around. I don't know if they're called Kokum anymore. It's part of Saab and they make submarines for warfare. Uh, I think, well, at least they used to be Kokums. So this, the scent on this is eucalyptus and spearmint, which is like, hmm. Not really my favorite things to smell. This is quite good though. And it's mentholated. 
I never know if it's mentholated or mentholated. I have a cramp already. Is it enough? I'm going to put a teeny bit of water in there to get the last, last bit of soap into the brush. So I'm, I'm soaking the bore knot on the copper brush because I'm, I'm bored and restless and eager to get it broken in properly. So I used a blow dryer on it. Several of you gave that piece of advice. So well, it's on the second soaking. God, I've got a crap, that's enough. My face dried up in the process. That's toothpaste for you, that's spearmint. <laughs> wow. That is literally the most toothpaste commencement of a lather ever. Yeah, that's gonna be way too much. Good. Good, good, good. That's good because we need to make a lather for eight minutes. One. But seriously, check out the previous video with the with the magic sewing embroidery trilogy of story of straight racer goodness. I'm so happy. Woke up early this morning, five o'clock, for no reason but eagerly started straight away to put, to, you know, cut the, the cloth for, uh, for the, yeah, check out the video, you'll see. Woke my wife up, quarter past five, she says, what are you doing? I said, I'm making a cozy bed for my best friends. Are you on drugs? No, she didn't say that because I'm very infrequently on drugs. So if I do something strange, very n rarely, never does she guess it's from narcotic substances. But she was wondering what I was doing. I said, I can't sleep. You know, I would shop, but it was more the What's the textile version of wood shop? You know, where you... So I was cutting that anyway. Now this is a mentholated cool soap. I've learned to appreciate mentholated soaps. It is very low density it actually smells quite nice which is which is a, an achievement considering I'm not a fan of eucalyptus or spearmint really wow this is <laughs> have a look at that is that the is that the lowest density high quality lathers in a while <laughs> Ridiculous. What a soap, eh? This is, I think, the Rust Belt Reserve formula, which is the nice one. I don't think I've tried that from Sharon Soaps. One of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve soaps that survived the cut because I'm packed for moving is Shannon's Barbershop. Some of the most incredible scent. Bravissi. Here we go. Ever sharp. Ever sharp razor. And this is with blades from 1955. Wow. 
What a lather. What a cracking lather. So yeah, original blade. Second shape. And they work. And I don't have yet sepsis or what was the other thing? Oh, that was Taleju one as well. Because he's a doctor. Um, sepsis and something starting with a T. Tepsis, no. Um, one is blood poisoning. And the other one is what you get if you get bitten by a snake. Yeah, I'm trying to go, I'm trying to use more confidence today. So I'm sure there will be blood. I know I can buy new injector blades, but since this one worked well yesterday, and since I have 18 of them, oh yeah. And so what he said, Taleja one, was, yeah, no way I would have tried those blades. Um, you know, you can put used blades in, the, in those dispensers. <laughs> I forgot about that. Holy smokes, that's ridiculous. So, so maybe someone, I mean, if it's, I think it, it's all new, right? <laughs> but they look kind of rusty and gooey. Or not rusty, but, you know, red. <laughs> but <laughs> what a phenomenal prank for someone to use 18 blades. You know, oh, a lot of shaving. And then put them back in as a disgusting experiment. Especially if this was done in like 1956. Let's say it took a year. I said they've been there for uh, 70 years or something. It's going to be 65, 75 with a five, you know, and then trying to, trying to figure out on YouTube in 1959, If someone picked it up and used those disgusting blades, it's skipping a bit. That's not very good. We're not using old blades like this. is It's kind of cool because let's say I do that every day for. 18 blades, five shaves. No, four shaves, it's easier. It's 72. It feels less sharp today. So I use these old blades for 72 days and then we get new ones and they're like, whew, all good. Okay, well, then I will appreciate the new and good blades. Maybe it's supposed to feel a bit rough. I don't know. It's not over smooth, that's for sure. Ride the cap. Mm. 
just the right amount of menthol for my liking. I, I like the, sm the scent as well. Not a favorite, but I am positively surprised. It's a ridiculous hoppish. You know, whether it's the fancy rust belt reserve or the usual, whatever that might be called. Great people who run Shannon's. It's Shannon. Hmm. Coincidence, you know, she works at a, and it's cold like her. And Brian, her husband, he drives a sob. It's very broken. It's a little bit painful today. But it up here, no, oh, it's not too bad. I'm gonna do a third pass because nah, it's just not good enough. Plus, it's fun, hey? Um, okay, so neck was the worst. Ride the cup. I'm gonna get a BPS shave. No pain, no gain. Well, you know, I could use a wick. <laughs> that would be easier. It's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. It's close enough shave. It would be really interesting to try out a good blade just to see, just to make the com comparison. <sighs> Basta. Okay, I'm gonna rinse while we're doing this. Huh. You know, the opening there, you know. Oh, it's so okay. clean. Very clean. Oh. It's a bit painful. I need to use an alcohol splash. Oh, a wonder. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what to use. Or do I? What do I have? Yes, I'm going to use one of eight aftershaves bombs. This is DK's Arctic Freeze. You know DK? He's on YouTube. DK Damn Fine Shaves in like one word. And this is made by Matti Lindholm, the guy who made the brush. Matti Lindholm Shaving Supplies. So quite a bit of his bomb, which I still don't know how he can make such a good bomb. This one has a ridiculous amount of menthol in it. Menthol, menthol. Oh, just I usually start crying after a while. I think I have the soap as well. Yeah, so next time, holy smokes, that's a lot of menthol. Okay, ever sharp. Mm, magic mic. What is it called? Hydro Magic Injector Racer. And of the star of the parte, a stallion would have said this Shannon Soaps Aussie Ice. And I'm going to do a blow dryer drying of the brush. I'll just have to stop crying first. I'm sorry, I'm going to lie down on the floor. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp. Okay, that Aussie Ice had a bit more <laughs> mental in it than I thought. Nice and 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 fresh. Out.
out with this damn thing. He won't go to bed. He just wants to go out and enjoy the cold. Well, he, did, he didn't just shave with menthol and Aussie ice. Okay, that's it. See you later, crocodiles.